Hello everyone, this is Polygon Wizard. Welcome back to our Minecraft Let's Play. Today I have a couple of things in store for you guys. First, we're going to check out our double spider spawners uh, that we had last episode. Put in a bit of work there, so I want to show you guys how that's shaping up. And then we're going to do some boring work called digging out the basement for this uh, house here. But while we do that, we're going to talk about exciting things from E3 this past week. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, we're hanging out in the plant lover's bedroom here. <laughs> Taking a look out the window, you get a little bit of a view of one of the watchtowers up there in the castle. Not bad. And then the square, so you can look at the fountain, the potion shop, the stables. This room's got it all. <laughs> Alright, so let's head back outside. We're going to come back here and do some digging later. First up, I want to go and show you the spider spawner. Our string problems have been solved. Let's just start with that. <laughs> Man, this is so much quicker to go here once I got these portals set up because before I had to go all the way down into some mines and find my way there. Portals are nice, guys, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Alright, so here I've got kind of my working area. I needed some stone while I was doing it, so I took a load back, but we've got lots of cobble from digging out things that I put in here. A few lava buckets left. I'm just gonna let it go till the lava buckets run out pretty much. But I was like, eh, we'll have it, you know, run while we're down here working. So this right here is temporary. I will show you in a minute. But as you can tell, it's a lot shinier and nicer looking than when we were here in the last episode. So we got this switch. It turns it off and on just like before. It goes to all those lights. However, I have an extra row. I believe last time it was only this row. And they were still spawning every once in a while, so I have ones on the ceiling, two rows here, and it seems to be all right. So we can stand here all day and they won't spawn at all with it off. Very well. The farm off, the lights on. You know, here's a bunch of extra junk that I still have in here. However, let's go back in here, perform some maintenance. So we can still go here and look at all the wiring. But I moved, I had a ladder inside of the rooms, but now I moved it out here. And this is my little minecart drop-off station thing. If you guys have never used one of these, it's pretty simple to do. The minecart is on the front side of this block right here, so right above the hopper. The minecart will come in. It's a hopper minecart, by the way, which we will take a look at in a second. And then it flows through the hopper down into the chest, and we have some string from when I was testing this earlier. But you have a comparator going into a block, where you have a torch here on the back side with a block above it, important. And then you have a repeater going back into this block here. So what it does is when the minecart comes back here, if the minecart has anything in it, it will start getting pulled. All the items will get pulled into this hopper, and when this hopper has something in it, a signal will be sent out to this block, which will turn the torch off, turn this off, and so this block will be unpowered, and all the powered rail there will go off, letting the minecart stay there till it's done when it's empty and there's nothing flowing out of here anymore. The minecart goes back off on its way. So let's break into our little thing down here. If you don't have lights down here, Spiders can spawn in on tracks since the mobs do not, you know, care about tracks anymore. <laughs> since this place is a little oddly shaped, I can't just do a nice track back and forth, so I end up missing this block right here. Well, this one actually. But if it's kind of on this, like, corner of the block or so, it still gets picked up from it right here. It's kind of like if it's only right back in this corner that it doesn't get picked up, and I'm okay with that. I had, as you can see, I've got redstone blocks in here from before. I tried something different, but it was missing about four different blocks or three different blocks, and so I wouldn't let down to one. So the minecart just, you know, keeps going back and forth and back and forth. Since I'm not on a server, I don't really care too much about lag. It should be fine. So let's look up here in the ceiling so you guys can see. I got a mix of andesite, 
and smooth stone slabs. It makes a very nice grid pattern, I find. I kind of like it. So I just filled this whole place up. Took a, took a little bit of a time. Of course, last episode I didn't even have this all digged out. Uh, digged out. Dug out! <laughs> Either. So yeah, you guys have quite a bit different here than last episode. I was not quite sure if there would be enough of a drop to kill the spiders on the one spawner that's a little bit lower. Because, like, I tested it out and I forget how many total blocks it was to where I had the floor with the bedrock. But then I had to put a layer of blocks above that with the minecart track above that and then another layer of glass blocks above that. And I didn't quite know if this one was going to be enough for it to work properly, but it does. It must be just at the edge, because if I had counted it when I dug down, it was like 20-something blocks on the mid and I think it was maybe 25, 26 blocks? I can't remember. So I thought maybe I'd have to add some sort of lava or something else to completely finish them off, but eh. Turn off all the lights, and if we put this back in for now, you can tell it gets really dark in here. The portal lights it up up there, but it's okay because this is slabbed off. You can tell this is a half slab, and then these are all stairs, and this is also slabbed. So it doesn't really matter. Nothing can spawn in here, and we don't light up the spiders in there too much. So we need some fish. There they go. Whoa. See, we had four of them there. So if you remember, we had a couple full stacks, and then about, I don't know, eight, I forget, single digits or so on the last one. So not too many, but if we just wait here a little bit, test it out, let's watch this one, see if they spawn. There they go. Ah! All right, and we will do this. Probably by the time we get down there, there won't be any string left because the minecart will already have picked it up, but let's go see. Mostly because the like ladder here is a little bit slow way to get down. Ah, see, there you go. There's some string. Minecart going. Boop, picks it up. Gets to the end, drops some off. It's all done and it goes back off. On its way. And of course, it missed some here, but it should be. It's right above the track. It's not on that block, so let's see. Pick it up when it goes? No. That's very strange. Oh well, I got it. If I lose a little string here and there, that's okay. No, not the hopper. There we go. So now we have 22 extra in here. And it didn't really take that long to get that much. I think I turned that on, or the farm off, for maybe 15 minutes to do that. I didn't keep track because I was up here building a little bit of stuff while I turned it off, so... I don't know. Regardless, we have string. It doesn't matter, you know, now how many trees we put with vines everywhere. We can block the vines off. We can, you know, do tripwire things if we want to. Anything you can use string for, we're good. So let's head back to the overworld over at main base at town. Oops. Let's get turned around coming out of that portal. So eventually, yeah, we're going to finish off that room back there. We'll put some sort of an item elevator. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the one with, you know, water streams and solid blocks and stuff, or if I'm going to do one with, like, droppers. I hadn't decided yet. But that way we don't have to go all the way down a ladder to get our string. So, I don't know about you guys, but this past week is one of my favorite weeks of the year. Even if it turns out to be kind of like, eh, not that much happens, it's still fun. When E3 rolls around, or as I call it, Video Game Hype Week. <laughs> uh, let's see, we'll put you here. I'll put Silk Touch in the one with glass. Ta-da. All right, we want plenty of room for digging out our basement for our kitchen and stuff. Now, E3 week is usually, you know... Whoa. All right. I don't know how far that way I want to go. Whoops. Okay. 
So anyway, this year E3 was <laughs> retractable tables. This year E3 was pretty awesome, I gotta say. There was lots of like big surprise announcements. There were some new games. There were looks at old games. There were some games that we have been wanting to see for a long time. All right, how do we want to do this basement? We're gonna have this as a platform and then we want to go down. here. Forgive me if I get a little bit trailing off here because I'm trying to think as I go for how I want these stairs to run so that we can have things in the way. All right. All right, guys, I've got myself situated. I have fixed this set and this set of tables with redstone blocks, mostly so that when we come back in here and replace some of these things, this here I can take them out and put whatever I want. It doesn't matter because there's no torches on it anymore. Also, I've switched the beacon to haste too, so we can dig this thing out quickly. And I marked out the dimensions here at the back. So that I wouldn't have to be doing F5 all the time. Or not F5, F3 all the time. Oh, so that you guys don't have to look at it. All right, so I want to know what you guys thought was the most exciting thing about E3 this week. If you guys will put some of that in the comments, that'll be awesome. I'm going to tell you a few of the things that I thought were highlights, but there's so many. Like, there's some big announcements that I don't care about, like Final Fantasy VII Remake and the Shenmue 3 uh, Kickstarter and all these things that got a huge amount of buzz that I'm just like, eh, whatever. But that was a cool thing, I think, about E3 this year is there are so many big announcements and so many kind of... You know, just things going on that... There we go. There's something for everybody, pretty much. So... Yeah, we're gonna do this right here. Man, it's so much faster doing haste. I'm glad I switched this over. But anyway, some of the things I got super excited about are seeing some of the things I was waiting for. Like Deus Ex Mankind Divided. They had a pretty cool demo of that that they showed at one of the press conferences was just a trailer kind of thing but then later on during interviews they were doing stage demos and whatnot so that was cool do, 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 do. yeah we're gonna have this basement more than just uh two tall for sure i'm just gonna dig out this level first so it's easier to see and maybe we'll go down or maybe i'll cover up the ceiling i don't remember how many i actually have left All right, let's do this. But yeah, let's see some other things like the new Tomb Raider and Mirror's Edge had a trailer. That was exciting. You know, stuff like Star Wars Battlefront looked kind of cool. But then there were some cool surprises as well. Like there's this game called Horizon Zero Dawn that was in the Sony press conference that was like half trailer, half gameplay demo. And it's going to be a big open world RPG that, let's see, we can probably take two off of this and be fine. And then another one. Let's see, which level is it? That level is the one, so if there's, if I'm avoiding torches, I can go up this high and be fine. All right. But this uh, Horizon game is, if you didn't see it, it's kind of like a, they're describing it post post-apocalyptic. So this big apocalyptic event happened on Earth and then a thousand years have gone by and then there are these kind of tribal groups of you know human beings and then there's these robots that the ones that we see in the trailer look like dinosaurs. So kind of like robo dinosaurs and it's like why how did that happen? What's going on a little bit? What is you know the nature of this world and how it came to be apparently are some of the things you're going to be looking into like story-wise in the game but you're going to be hunting some of these machines and getting resources from them i don't know it was a really cool universe that makes my imagination just run wild and go ooh, i want to explore that so that was a really cool neat surprise come on cole get out of there you slow me down <laughs> 
Man, this goes so fast. I love it. Uh, let's see. What else was there? There was No Man's Sky again for a little bit. They showed it um, for about three minutes during press conference. And it was almost like he didn't want to be there. I can kind of understand why. Because you cannot show that game with this crazy epic scope in three minutes. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> but what he did show was kind of neat. And then they were talking about it at interviews and things afterwards as well. So... Let's see, let's do that. And one more layer I can do, right? Right? Let's see if we can see. Yes, not that layer, but this layer we can do. All right. Oh, crap. See? <laughs> Gotta be careful. All right, I will end up fixing all of these for sure, but if we break a couple, that's all right. We can fix tables. Yay! Uh, let's see what else. They announced a new Hitman, which sounds kind of cool. It's going to be like this uh, online only to start, and they're going to like be releasing missions over time. And some of them you only get to do once, and then you're done. And some of them are like live events, so they're only up for a limited number of you know number of hours or days or whatever. They're still probably figuring that out a little bit, but that's coming out like December this year. That's kind of crazy. They have uh, Just Cause 3 I've been looking forward to. Whoop. Man, I am doing good at finding the ones that are under tables, aren't I? <laughs> just Cause 3 is awesome. I had a lot of fun with Just Cause 2. If you like any games that are just like causing mayhem, then that is a game that you should try. Like, just try Just Cause 2 even. If you have the ability, you know, buy it for your console or get it on Steam, something. Because it looks like 3 is going to be like Just Cause 2, except to the max, which if you've ever played Just Cause 2, you thought that game was to the max. So much stuff about, you know, so much in that game is doing crazy stunt things and blowing stuff up and using your grappling hook to cause mayhem, pretty much. Like, even the currency in that game is literally causing mayhem. Okay, we don't need flint. Let's get the dirt. Do -do 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 -do. Oh yeah, I need to go up and get those carpets for the tables so they don't despawn. Alright, let's go dump some of this off. Look how quickly we carved out a basement space. Sur surely we can fit a kitchen down here. What do you think, guys? <laughs> oh yeah, with uh, No Man's Sky, well, I want to go back to that really quickly. Because that's a game I'm really looking forward to. And I think some of you know the people who are watching this probably are looking forward to that kind of game too. Because you're already playing one that you is similar enough to it in certain respects called Minecraft. There actually some people got to play No Man's Sky at uh, the conference at E3. Here, let's just dump a bunch of cobble in here. We'll organize it later. What else do I have? Let's see that and that. Here, we'll go to our dirt chest. I need to clean these up at some point. I've got so many chests out here now. All right, that's enough. I can go pick up some other things. But yeah, they were describing it kind of like Minecraft in that you run around, like intergalactic Minecraft almost. There, You run around in this world. I, I thought some of these tables went down. Which ones was it? Ah, here's one. There we go. Wait. How did I get two there when there's only one? Da I don't get it. I don't get it. What are you doing to me, Minecraft? <laughs> but anyway, intergalactic Minecraft, and then you run around, do some exploring, get some resources to upgrade your laser gun tool, your ship, your armor, that sort of things. And then you use that to mine some harder to get things and upgrade some more. And there's a lot of like exploration in it. But there's also some other things as well. I don't know. A lot of people are talking about how, like, man, what's that game? I don't know if I want to play it until they tell me some more, but I don't know. They showed some things this time, like, when you go to a planet, it will give you icons and waypoints for kind of points of interest to go look for. They didn't go in-depth onto what those are, and I think that's cool that they're doing that. Because we haven't really had many games like that since Minecraft, where it's just like, put the game out, let everybody see it. Here you go, figure it out guys, go! And I think that's going to be awesome when they finally put it out. They also announced that No Man's Sky is going to be on PC at the same time as the PS4 version, which is the first time they've announced that. It makes me happy, yippee! So yeah, that's a game that is definitely on my radar. Man, 
I swear there were two of these. Let me go find in the basement where the other one I messed up was. Yeah, it was right here and right here. So, right in the corner and then right in the middle. Strange. Oh, duh. I bet you guys were screaming at me the whole time. It's right there! <laughs> Let's see, I'm trying to think. I should have written a list of things I was excited to see, but I didn't. So, oh well, we're going to run with it off the cuff. <laughs> Alright, I don't have any more blocks up here, do I? Ooh, I have one. You know what? I'm just going to go grab some. You guys haven't seen the basement in a bit, so let's go do that. Wee. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there was a teaser trailer for a new Mass Effect that came out, which makes me excited. I love the three Mass Effect games that are out there. It's called Mass Effect Andromeda is the new one. That was it. There's just sort of a teaser trailer that's like, yo, this game's coming. There's kind of some rumors about what that might be. A lot more exploration this time, which makes me happy because I really love that about the first Mass Effect. And they kind of got away from that later on. Hmm. I have a ton more redstone blocks elsewhere, so we're only going to do this for a couple of these, but... Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't think you guys have seen that I made this into a slime face. So, there you go. Slime face. <laughs> it's not quite the correct dimensions for the floor, but it's close enough. Get away from those noisy guys. Ooh, one hit only. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad. Half the time I use that elevator anymore, it's just like, smack, 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 smack. I was like, good thing I'm wearing armor, because otherwise that would be a serious health hazard, right? Okay, I let's see if we can jump up here and do this from the basement. We can! Yay! Okay. Those two are fixed. Now let's get your tablecloth. Voila! See? Like nothing even happened. <laughs> So yeah, this right here is kind of the dimensions, like the wall here is where the outside wall is for the building, so we're all kind of like inside if it were a real foundation. But hey, this is Minecraft, we could go sprawling and the kitchen could be under everywhere, like you start in the kitchen here, and then you end up over at the potion shop. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I should do that. Should we have some sort of crazy underground tunnel system to this place so when it's raining or when someone's attacking we can all go underground and get everywhere? Because we already have that sort of secret door in the uh, potion shop, so maybe that'd be kind of cool. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments as well. Yeah, we're gonna probably fill this in. What do we, or we want to what, I think, yeah. Well, no, if we do that, we need to cover that up. And we can't do that. So we're going to be two wide stairs, actually. Just so we don't see... I don't have any cobble left, do I? Oh, well. We'll make this all pretty and turn into an actual room at some point. I'm sure there are plenty of games that I forgot about. Uh, during E3 that I saw that I was like, ooh, cool! Like, there was a teaser trailer for one called ReCore that I thought was neat. Uh, let's see. What else was there? I don't remember the See, this is a good problem to have. So many cool things that you can't remember them all. <laughs> So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a simpler episode. We've got lots of string now. We've got space for doing a kitchen and maybe a wine cellar or something. And if we want, we could even keep going down further if we wanted to have, like, tons and tons of secret basement levels to this tavern. It looks cool up top, but down below we have a hidden laboratory. Who knows? <laughs> we could do whatever you want. Give me some suggestions. Leave a like if you like this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one.